The war in Syria is complicated with lots of moving parts. The American strategic interest is the elimination of ISIS and the removal of Assad. It is an ugly conflict with ISIS beheadings and Syrian use of chemical weapons. Men, women, children lying in rows killed by poison gas. It is in the national security interests of the United States to respond to the Assad regime's use of chemical weapons through a targeted military strike. Russia proposed on Monday that Syria surrender control over its chemical weapons to the international community for its eventual dismantling to avoid a U.S. military strike. This brings Russia directly into the conflict supporting Syria. Why do the Russians choose to become engaged in this mess? Russia is a neighbor to Syria. We are not. Russia has a strategic interest in Syria. We do not. Russia has a military base in Syria. We do not. Assad has been losing ground to ISIS and to the rebels. So in September of 2015, Russia intervened. The situation in Syria went from bad to worse this week. President Obama gave up on his program to train a new rebel army to take on the Assad regime. Russia escalated its offensive against the Assad opposition, including launching cruise missiles from almost a thousand miles away. And ISIS moved to fill the vacuum created by the Russian attacks on the rival insurgents. In order to defeat ISIS, it is generally agreed that air power is necessary but not sufficient. US warplanes have been bombing ISIS there will be a requirement for, for ground reasons. troops. I do not foresee a scenario in which boots on the ground in Syria, uh, American boots on the ground in Syria, would not only be good for America, uh, but also would be good for Syria. Neither the United States nor Russia is willing to introduce ground troops into the fight. However, and it is a big however, Russia can utilize Syrian ground troops to supplement its air campaign. The United States has no such option and has been unsuccessful in turning the Syrian rebels into a confident fighting force. The choice seems to be to leave Assad in power while the Russians eliminate ISIS, which they can do because they have the combination of Russian military aircraft and Syrian ground troops. We should let the Russians destroy ISIS and we'll deal with Assad later. And as an extra benefit, this whole thing could really hurt the Russians. It's not as brilliant as it's being made out. It's a desperate effort to shore up one of the Kremlin's only foreign allies and it risks making Russia the great Satan in the eyes of jihadis everywhere. So in summary, ISIS is eliminated without risking any American lie. And it is Russians, instead of Americans, put in harm's way. And we avoid participation in another Middle East quagmire.